Hello, everybody. Rudolph Vomit. And does that look like an ordinary tank to you? No. You want to know why? Because it's not an ordinary tank. It was never built. It never will be built. And there were never any blueprints. You know why? Because this is a freaking anime tank. This is literally from the Valkyria Chronicles, I believe. Which is a game series on the PlayStation, strangely enough. But it managed to make its way over here onto Xbox. And here I am, being a dirty little boy, playing it. Dirty? Well, what do you mean, dirty? Well, I'll tell you how dirty this little bastard actually is. Even though it's really not that dirty at all. Its stats were slightly nerfed when it was brought over to console from the PC. Which means if you're unlucky enough to play on the Asian server and run into one of these, it'll be much harder to take down than it ever would be on console. But let me tell you right now, even though it can meet tier 10s, this thing is annoying as hell to take down. Now what also is, you know, questionable, is the 88mm on this gun. Now when you think 88mm, you think, you know, Tiger, Panther, 200 damage. Not when it comes to this tank. This tank does 300 damage with its 88. Average. Which is kind of strange, considering that, you know, all other 88s don't even do that much damage. Sometimes they can only do that much damage when they fire high explosive. But nope. The AP rounds on this tank do 300 damage. Alright. Way to one-up all the tigers and panthers out there, Mr. Nameless. What else can you do that the Tigers can't do? Well, the Nameless, if you think about it, does kind of look like a Tiger too. I mean, a taller, yet not as lengthy, fatter Tiger too. But when you look at the turret, you can kind of see it. When you look at the hole, eh, probably not. But this is one very, very mm, different tank than the Tiger 2. It's the same in a lot of ways, but it does things that the Tiger 2 could only dream of. In fact, I wish the Tiger 2 was the Nameless. What's weird about the Nameless is that, despite having 200 millimeters of frontal armor on the hull, 210 to be exact, 80 on the sides and 80 on the rear, this tank can actually rock 50 kilometers an hour. Which is very strange indeed, considering the engine power is 570. This tank only weighing... 34 tons. Which gives it a power to weight ratio of 17. Making it a very fast heavy tank. Now the turret armor is 220 on the front, on 150 on the sides, and 80 on the rear. And try not to be fooled by that cupola, because it's a lot stronger than you may think. If you hit the fra flat front of it, you'll probably penetrate if you have, you know, 210 millimeters of penetration or more. You hit an angled surface, yeah, have fun. But this tank is just so freaking overpowered. In fact, what this tank does very well is emphasize... Mmm... This is going to be very controversial, and I hope I don't cross too many barriers, but pay to win. Now, it's been argued that World of Tanks has been pay to win for a while, but just watch what happens between this Tiger with an 88 and the Nameless with an 88. This is just ridiculous. What I also forget, forgot to mention was that the penetration on this 88 is 220 on standard, 260 on the premium, and 44 with high explosive. Now, that's not bad at all. But considering you can meet tier 10s, it could be a little better. However, how would you complain about that when you have so much armor, so much firepower, and so much mobility? Now, what is really annoying about this tank is that, you see those two headlights on the front of the tank? When you point your gun over those, your gun depression drops to about 0 or 1 degrees. And otherwise, it's only about 5 which was nerfed from the PC's 8. So again, it's not bad, 
but it could be worse if you're unlucky enough to play on the Asian server. What you also get for purchasing the Nameless, or the Edelweiss, the other anime tank, which I will not be featuring in this episode, but if you manage to purchase the Nameless, you will get an exclusive Karisa Kontzin crew, which I believe is a character from the Valkyria Chronicles. And she has her own individual voice lines of... in Japanese. More specifically, anime voice lines. Wow, that may have come off a little bit racist, but... Well, you've heard her a couple times, haven't you? You know what I'm talking about. Now again, I'm no player of Valkyria Chronicles, so I don't know if this is the actual voice actor or just some other person. But I think if it is, then, you know, bravo to you, Wargaming, for going out there and finding the person actually having them voice, or, you know, just copying and pasting over. Now, this is interesting here, because we're facing off against a Stritzvanist 1, which requires a 91mm caliber or higher gun in order to penetrate its 30mm of, you know, super sloped armor. My gun is very powerful, but it's only an 88 mil. And he has 288 millimeters of penetration. My only hope of pinning him is that Capola right there. The rest of his tank will be an auto ricochet. But for him, my 220 millimeters of frontal armor doesn't go a long way. Let's just see how it holds up. Let's see how he holds up against me. Let's see if I can pull a Kalibanovs out of my ass again, which, you know, probably isn't going to happen. <laughs> yep, right through the front of me. That probably wasn't even a gold round, to be honest. He doesn't even really need it. But I'm about to get jumped here in a second. And although the Nameless is very excellent armor, against a Stritzel on S1, you don't really stand a chance. And even if you dab that, you know, A, bar, well, I feel like Quickie Baby. Yes! 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 <sighs> but even if you press A, you probably will not be ever able to penetrate Sturzvan S1 in this thing. So do you guys think that World of Tanks is becoming pay to win? I mean this thing was sold a while ago, but now we're getting things like the AMX M449, which leads me to believe that sooner or later we're going to have the Object 252, followed by the Chrysler K. No God! No God, please no! 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 Which will probably be an absolute disaster. And as far as PC is concerned, has sent the player base down the drain. Down the toilet, even. On console, I feel like servers are alive and kicking. But is it really only a matter of time until that all goes away? Will this slightly overpowered tank be overpowered by more powerful tanks that are pay to win? I don't know guys. My hopes are high, but to be honest, optimism can't get you everywhere. And I don't know how much longer this game's gonna last. I hope it lasts a while, but on PC it's starting to fade. Is that the same fate that awaits console? Thanks for watching the video guys. I'll see you guys later.